one of our favorite guys to wear a Royals uniform. I mean that seriously because always still in Texas, even injured, a smile on the face. Always. Always. That's the way you were every day that you were here. What did your time in Kansas City mean to you? I think it's a big time for me, especially like, um, you know, I played here for two years and uh, win the World Series. That was one of the best moments in my career. There was, you weren't the only one. I mean, there, there were a few guys that dealt with that yeah. that year, and it must have been, you know, such a kind of a family feel. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, every started now, uh, Griff Fall, he lost his, uh, his dad and his speed trainer, then Chris Young, Mustakas, and uh, I was the last guy to lose my one of my parents, so it was really hard time for the, for the team. But at the same time, the, whatever happened to one of the one of our, uh, guy on our team, uh, put the team a little more together. You know, that was the uh, so a lot of things happened. You know, because uh, I don't know, guy only the only know the only guy know. So I think my my favorite things when you were here were when I got to interview you and Jordano together because it was always just fun and silly and you know the post game or the 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 champagne celebrations where where he could speak good english and he'd started to do it I don't want to. <laughs> but he did and 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 you would you would just sit there kind of looking like the the proud brother no nah, he was uh, like a like a younger brother for me you know i spent two years with him and uh i was trying to help him like the, in any kind of situation for him and as a young guy he was trying to learn from me a lot of different things, how, how you're going to pitch, how you're going to face this guy, um, outside of baseball too, and uh, we have a good relationship. You know. Two years ago, I remember I'm driving home from Kauffman Stadium. I, I stop and pull over to get some gas, and the note pops up on my phone. Edinson Volquez throws a no-hitter on your Donald Ventura's birthday, and I, I started getting tears in my eyes because I couldn't believe it. I mean, that was his first birthday, you know, without him. Yeah. What did that experience mean to you? Because I don't know. I mean, it, to me, it seemed like how could this possibly happen? Um, I, I always call this mo that moment because uh, uh, some uh, I got two people, two different people that day told me I'm gonna I'm gonna throw no haters. And uh, the soon I woke up in the morning, uh, I post a picture of, of him and me too, and uh, you know, hop, wishing a happy birthday and everything. And uh, that's one of those days, man. One of those lucky days. That's what I call them. One of those lucky days. You don't know. You know, you come to the game to pitch one game. You don't know what's going to happen. So, uh, so you know, you got to no, you threw no hitter. I hope you're back. But I know that whenever you end up going home, the twin daughters, right? They'll they'll, they'll love dad being home and all that. But uh, whatever it is, your time here in Kansas City for us will always be special for the fans and and I think for you too. So keep on smiling, and it's it, it's good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Now we certainly enjoyed our time with Eddie Volquez. You see the numbers, 23 and 24, 43 ERA. So, okay. Uh, but, you know, he pitched in games one and five of the ALCS and the World Series. Uh, so his time here was extremely meaningful, as we discussed, and he's done so much in this game. So if indeed it is over, what a career it has been. But hopefully the news will be okay and he can get back from that elbow injury. But you could just see uh, Edinson Volquez. I remember that when the Royals acquired him, talking to uh, one of my counterparts in Pittsburgh, and he said, you guys will love him. He's been loved everywhere that he has been. And when I think, and I know for Jeff Montgomery, the same thing, when I think about Eddie Volquez, I think about your Donald Ventura. He truly was that big brother. He was that shadow for your Donald, showing him the way, as your Donald tried to do with uh, guys like Mondesi afterwards. And I can't tell you how many times Monty and I would be doing an interview, whether it was them. And that was the day, I think, where they had switched jerseys. So they were maybe discussing or, or pointing out, or maybe that was an answer about who was the better at this or who was the better at that, and they wanted to point to each other. But day after day, there was a good chance that either Salvi was photobombing us on the field or the combination of Volquez and Ventura. And so, uh, in many ways, I think we could see some of your Donald Ventura still to this day in Edinson Volquez.